It's an honor to be here. Uh, I have to admit that I'm not no expert in water heating. The experts are spread across this room. And, uh, I've been uh, attending this uh, forum for, I think, three years. Uh, I missed last year. Uh, I missed it a lot. I, I, just, I think this is a very uh, great, tight, warm group. Uh, so uh, as I said, I'm, I'm honored to be here. So uh, this morning, I'm going to present uh, uh, some topics uh, that relate to the southeast and water heating and uh, a couple of the uh, activities that I've been concentrating my, uh, my research on. Uh, uh, during the last uh, two years, uh, unfortunately, for our uh, uh, institute, the funding has been uh, reduced uh, compared to the previous year, so um, I wish I would have more to present than what I'm going to present, but uh, here it is, and uh, this is what uh, I have uh, uh, for you today. So, um, for those of you who don't know, the Florida Solar Energy Center uh, also manages and runs the uh, Coley Energy Gauge Office. Uh, it's uh, our, our home energy residential energy software. So I asked uh, to, to get a hold of the records for the last 10 years. Um, so what, what you're seeing here is mostly biased uh, to Florida because the majority of the records are from Florida, obviously. Uh, 25,000 uh, from Florida in the last five years, uh, North Carolina 3,000 and uh, 2,950 for South Carolina. So I just wanted to see what was going on in terms of uh, equipment and fuel. Um, uh, it looks like in Florida we are still about 66% uh, electric and 33% natural gas. And um, during the last five years, this is what energy rate is have, have reported in terms of equipment. On the left side, you can see electric uh, uh, fuel uh, uh, water heating. I was surprised to see that uh, hypersensual uh, heat pump water heaters. That means that uh, um, uh, those homeowners that uh, rate their homes, uh, which, which obviously want to achieve better than code minimum, um, uh, care about energy efficiency, of course, and uh, uh, heat pump water heaters are starting to uh, come alive in, in, in that sector. Of course, this is not the global statistic. It's just for those people who rated uh, their homes and care uh, deeply about energy efficiency. On the, uh, on the right side, uh, natural gas, I was also surprised that uh, tankless has surpassed uh, a storage type. So uh, I thought those two uh, uh, general average statistics were uh, uh, a surprise to me. Oops, sorry. So um, I'm going to talk uh, briefly in, in general terms uh, of, of what I've been concentrating my uh, my research uh, the last two years. Uh, uh, mostly, the university has backed me up to. To, to go after patent uh, in what they call intellectual property. So on the left side, I presented about three years ago, or two and a half years ago, uh, uh, photovoltaic augmented heat pump water heaters. And um, uh, on, on, the, on the next slide, you will see the advanced uh, uh, state of heat pump water heaters in terms of the power that these uh, uh, units are, 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 are what well, we've been measuring. So um, on, the, on the right side, um, I've been concentrating a little bit of my time with uh, insulation uh, for, for storage type electric water heaters, which, which kind of doesn't make sense to it, uh, most people here because as you, as you all know, the uh, energy factor or uniform energy factor for electric water heaters has, has increased uh, from, from what it was 0.91 to 0.945. But with the trend, uh, what I hear in terms of using electric water heaters as energy storage, it kind of makes sense to uh, 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 apply a product like this. So it has potential for both the utility side and also the consumer side in terms of savings. Um, this is just a general slide I had presented a few years ago for those of you who don't know what I'm, uh, specifically what I'm talking about. So we, uh, we paired a couple of uh, 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 photovoltaic modules with, with heat pump water heaters uh, using new microinverters and developed controls to 
uh, increase the thermostat setting on the system uh, when solar, radio, solar insulation or solar radiation is available. So in other words, you have sunshine, you, you pass the threshold of uh, energy available, you increase the thermostat setting to 140 instead of the usual 125. So now you have stored more energy in that, in that, in that, in that, in that tank. Uh, on, on the 50 gallon side, we usually refer to as a, a 2 kilowatt hours of energy storage uh, above 125. Uh, on the 80 gallon, it's, it's, it's about 2.6, 2.7 kilowatt hours of extra energy storage. Or if you can raise the temperature even higher than that, then your, your energy storage obviously increases. So. Um, this slide uh, shows the uh, what I call the previous generation of uh, heat pump water heaters. You can see the red dots and the scale on the left side uh, uh, reaching about 600 watts when the uh, heat pump water heater is, is about to finish heating to 125 degrees Fahrenheit. And the green dots is an 80 gallon uh, heat pump water heater. You can see the big difference between uh, uh, the previous generation and the newest generation, which is about 25 to 30 percent more efficient because of the, uh, the new compressor and better design. So, how does that relate to solar energy and photovoltaics? Well, you can see the yellow dots is uh, it's energy generated by two photovoltaic modules, uh, uh, 600 watts, uh, 300 watts each. Uh, we're using two of them, uh, reaching about 500 watts in the middle of the day. And you can see that the, 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 new, the newest generation of equal part of heaters is way below that. So, so now we, have, we still have the surplus of energy compared to the previous generation where we didn't. Keep in the wrong key. So um, uh, a few years ago, I had uh, reported on the table of, of, of efficiency, basically, or kilowatt hours per day. And uh, in, in our prototype in the laboratory, we had reached about uh, uh, water heating for a family of four, about 54, 55 gallons of hot water, 125, because we used a tempered valve or a mixing valve. And we were able to um, achieve uh, an average of 1.2 kilowatt hours per day. And now with the new generation of equal water heaters, uh, uh, we predict that we, we can surpass better performance than one kilowatt hour per day, which is uh, one, of, one of my personal goals, try to achieve uh, water heating for a family of four at one kilowatt hour per day or less. And, and, and as, as, as you approach zero, it, it's, it's, it gets harder and harder to, to, to do. Um, the next topic is, uh, um, it's kind of, some people say it's funny, but uh, using balloons, uh, the actual balloons that uh, uh, yeah. we, we buy for, for happy birthday uh, filled with uh, helium. Uh, my colleague, uh, Danny Parker, uh, came up with this idea, and we, we were involved in a uh, insulation system for, for electric water heating, uh, electric, water, electric water heaters a few years ago, but the patent did not go through, so it failed. So I, I, I kind of, I'm kind of glad it failed because it was expen expensive to, to, to build manufacturers that required molds. And, uh, but, but this uh, concept, this idea of using uh, uh, 15 cent uh, Mylar balloons where you cut them in half and uh, you create two half moons and then you fill them with uh, polystyrene beads of two to five millimeters in diameter. Uh, they are very pliable, moldable, so that way when you lay them on top of the tank, you can mold around pipes and valves and electric connections. So it's very easy to install uh, in, in a few minutes. You basically wrap your water heater and you slap those two half moons on top. And, 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 and it shows uh, a considerable savings in our laboratory. Of, um, at a rate of 12, kilowatt, 12 cents a kilowatt hour at about two and a half years for the previous generation of water heaters. I haven't tested the new generation of water heaters at the 0.945 UVF. Uh, hopefully we'll be doing that uh, this, this coming year, but um, with the trend of uh, talk about using water heaters as an energy storage uh, uh, mechanism, uh, it kind of makes sense because now you'll be raising the temperature thermostat set it to 130, 140, 150. And obviously, uh, any, any type of insulation will help. Um, 
this is data from, uh, from our laboratory of, of how we uh, uh, determine the savings and the performance of this uh, uh, installation system. Of course, this is for the previous, uh, the present stock or previous generation of water heaters. That's why I refer to uh, the, the 0.91 MG factor water heaters. Um, interesting, when I started looking at the data, the data was all over the place until I arranged it by average weight and inlet temperature and it became very linear so it became a lot easier to uh, determine the difference between uh, the tank without insulation and with the uh, what we call the flex cap insulation. And that is all I have for you this morning. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope to hear comments of 5% today and uh, our next percentage is uh, thank you very much.